Today, we're pinning some beetles. You can see that? That's what we're doing today. Bit of a uh, how I do it sort of uh, instructional video. We've got the Maya Chinorina Tonquada um, from Cameroon. Quite a big bug. Here's some of the tools of the trade. Pins, lots of pins. We got styrofoam. Styrofoam to pin it to. We got the little uh, tool kit here. Lots of different scalpels and tweezers and stuff like that. That'll all help soon. Here we've got container, boiling water. That's gonna rehydrate the uh, insect. Now these ones actually come as a pair, male and female. Uh, male's the big boy. Right, so we're just gonna plonk him in the rehydrator. Sit him in there for a bit. We'll also turn him over after as well. Get it all uh, nice and soft so we can start moving the uh, arms and wings and stuff like that around and uh, pin them. Okay, well it's been in there about five minutes now so we're gonna just take it out and see if it's pliable or not. Not quite. I think we'll put it in a bit longer. See some of the little legs? They're moving alright, but these bigger ones take a bit longer. So you notice he's got a broken broken foot there as well. That's obviously come out. Yeah, it's in the package still, so it's a bit of a shame for that. Alright, been in there a few more minutes now. We'll, uh, See how we go. Just gotta wiggle them a bit, get the ligaments and whatever else in there loosened up. Sometimes you even hear a crack, it's a bit scary, but yeah, getting looser. Get a bit of movement going. Go to the next leg. Broken one. We can I've still got the other part of the leg in the packet, so I might be able to glue that back on later. Right. So that's spread. And he actually, he's got little antennas as well. They can be seen on there. Antennas. Try and pop them out. Be careful. Pretty delicate. Now, well, that's sort of what they look like. We've we'll, uh, got the other leg here. Can sort of maybe glue that on later. Okay. Now, now that we got that together, might we'll put the pin. Him here. Pretty tough shell, so Get something there just make it a bit easier to hold. Now, this is the scary bit. Opening up the wings. Now. So I like to get 
careful because there's another set of wings underneath these wings under the hard shell. So this is the trickiest bit. Actually, we'll take it out for now. Get a bit of movement. as much as I thought they would. Alright, so let's just have a look. So we got one wing almost out. Come on, okay. There's the other one. All right, there we go. Fold those wings out. Okay, so now what I'll do, now that I've got that going there, I will put this pin back in. Rethink this. Right, so spread this out. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to put this other piece of styrofoam there so we can put his wings and pin them over the top. so hard though. Okay, had to fight that one a bit more than usual to get the pin in. Because his shell is super duper tough. Let's attach that to the board. Right now we can look at pinning these wings up. go through this sort of bony bit up there which gives a bit more stability and then I'll do the same on that side and it basically just holds everything open that looks good then you can just sort of move these legs to where how you want them set so if you want them a bit wider chuck another pin just to hold it outwards 
and then move. You could tilt those other legs up forward if you wanted. I'm going to leave them down. Try and get these antennas out. They were pretty tricky. Sort of pinned, might just change the angle of these a bit so it's a bit more even. Looks pretty good. And yeah, I said the leg here is missing, but we can always possibly glue that on later and go to when, once this dries. Now, what we do is I put it out in the shed for three days, it'll dry and set, and then when I pull the pins out, it'll all stay in place. I'm actually going to do the female as well today, so I want to put them both in the same frame. So I'll chuck her in to rehydrate. Why that female is rehydrating, I've just actually um, glued that leg on, so that should hold. Should be okay. Okay, so let's do the same with the female. Watch to go pins in the legs, hold her still. One thing you can't see from there, or one thing you don't get, is the smell. Uh, it stinks. So, yeah. Alright, let's get a needle in this. Get one up here. It's about right. Arrange those two legs where I want them. 
you can see the front legs are actually both broken as well which is yeah no good but i can possibly glue them on later now off camera i was able to just refix those front legs on so yeah see if they hold up okay so that's finished product for now they're both pinned to the board we'll give them a couple of days just sitting out in the shed where it's nice and dry and um yeah that's just how i do it so people have different methods of dehydrating but that's just how i've of sussed out doing it, it's quite easy.